mapping sets in subledger accounting using mapping sets you can do accounting based on customer requirements without writing a program so for example uh, you have an ar invoice and you want to do the accounting based on dff values you can do that without writing any code so you have to first set up a transaction dff let us say for example we have already set up a transaction dff like this a transaction dff to capture the risk class of the transaction the transaction the invoice you are entering could be high risk low risk or moderate risk in terms of collection of the invoice next step is to set up a mapping set in subledger accounting so let us go and set up a mapping set here i have already set up a mapping set which is called as demo risk class and the values i have given in the mapping set are high low and md the input values are high low and md coming from the value set that we are using which is demo transaction risk class this is the value set used for defining the descriptive flex field the input values would come from the value set and those values will be translated into output values as 4300 for high risk this output value has already been defined in the sub account segment of operations accounting flex next step is to set up an account derivation rule based on the mapping set so let us go to account derivation rule this is how you have to set up an account derivation rule so the name is demo sub account we are going to capture only the sub account so you have to give a segment as output type you have to give the chart of accounts name here and choose the segment which segment you are going to populate for the mapping set the mapping set you are going to use is demo risk class and the input source is transaction information flex field attribute 1 the way we have set up the descriptive flex field is to capture the information in attribute 1 of transaction information flex field which becomes an input source for this account derivation rule next step would be to integrate the adr with journal line type let us go to the subledger accounting method i am using here custom accrual if you are using standard accrual you should copy it to custom accrual or some other name with the transaction and accounting chart of accounts you also should copy the ad for receivables the jld for receivables etc just like here i have already copied the jld for receivables with the name demo ar ad i am going into that then i go to the invoice jld i have already copied the invoice jld and attached here demo ar invoice jld go into the jld go to invoice default receivable account and you will see here i have added sub account as the demo sub account adr which we defined in the earlier step once we have defined the adr and attached to the jld you should validate the account uh, application account definition and then you can proceed with entering an invoice and testing the transaction so let us enter an invoice let us choose risk class as high
choose any customer go to line items enter the quantity price and save the lines save the invoice and complete it go to tools create accounting do the final accounting then go to tools view accounting now here the risk class should be captured in your sub account so let us see what happens and we have done it for receivables account we have not done it for revenue so this is the receivables account receivables and you would see 4300 which is a high risk code has already been attached with the accounts receivable account and the revenue account is intact there is no 4300 attached because we did not add the sub account mapping set and adr definition to the jld jlt of revenue account now let us enter another invoice with a different risk code let us take the risk code this time as moderate go to line items this is only for test so you can enter any line item and take the amounts quantity unit price come back to the invoice and complete the invoice once again do the create accounting and view the account so here with the receivable account the code of moderate risk should be attached so let us verify that so here you can see 4200 has been automatically attached to your receivables account which is a risk moderate risk code and this is a receivables account so we have completed the test on the transaction so we entered an invoice and we verified the invoice accounting and that's it that is how you can configure a mapping set in subledger accounting and without writing any single code you can have a desired code combination generated for either revenue or receivable account thank you bye bye